What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Hey yo, what the fuck? I said hey yo. I said hey yo. No shmoney spank gang, we in a building and yes, sh know that. What is shaking y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Hi man. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell the fuck on. We is all the way to fuck. Let you dig you. Already know. With that being said, man, if it's your first time on the channel, man, check it out. I'm about to show you a graph, a graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo that comes out. And what I'm doing on this graph is I'm looking for budget beasts. And I take those budget beasts and I compare them to the best cards in that position. If not the most expensive card in that position, I'm here to help you save some chicken, you dig? I said, hey, yo, team of the week, week two, talk to him, you already know, man. We're going to go over the cards that did hop out today, and listen, man, I got some fire, fire coin methods, and we're going to drop that in the video so you guys so you guys can get your chicken up. Now, let's get into it, man. Did, yo, what y'all think about team of the week, man? Did, they, did, did we get dubbed on this zone or what, man? Tell me the truth. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Anyways. Honorable mention, before we get into some of the uh, cards that did hop out today, honorable mention, this Robert Spillane card. I ain't gonna lie with you. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Frost with 85 speed, 6-1. What I like the most about this card, Brody's, truthfully, is the 81 zone, 72, man. Right outside linebacker. Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I frucks with this card, Brody's. I frucks with it, all right? So, shout out to the homie. Anyways, let's go over the cards that did hop out today. And we are gonna go, we're gonna... I'm gonna give you some money methods, some fire joints today, man. You're gonna dig them, all right? Now, first off, they ended up dropping the ball. Who's the ball? Oh, my man, James Cook. Yo, homie was eating. Homie was eating, bro. All right, wait, what is he? He's a, oh, he's an 87. Let's go. We, we got 87s, right? Talk to him. Okay, now, where's the ball at? 600K. You know the slogan, man. 600k, we ain't gonna pay. Talk to him. Listen, man, we're gonna compare the ball James Cook to two more 86 overalls in a good fair price. Okay, one of them is gonna be Travis Etienne. Now, the lowest I saw the ball is gonna be 200 with the promo coming out tomorrow. Legends, yo, you're gonna be you're gonna see these running backs go down in price. So, peep game, okay? Travis Etienne, 200k. Not a bad situation. The other card we're going to be going over as well is going to be Beast Mode. Going for about the same price. Another 200k. Um, you already know. I ain't even got to tell you, man. And then we're going to throw one more in there. Now, usually I throw in the Christian McCaffrey, the free uh, card from Season 1. He's still a dope option. Still one of the best. I'm still using him. I'm not going to put him in this chart because I feel like I want to give you guys some variety, okay? Raheem Mostert, uh, 120 bands. Now, you can get them for as low as 100K. I've seen them out there for a little cheaper. You can snipe them late nights. You already know what time it is, all right? Now, from left to right, we got the ball James Cook in blue, okay? Travis Etienne in red. Beast Mode in green. Now, remember, this is just the regular Joe, not the vintage one, all right? Raheem Mostert in purple, okay? When it comes to speed, Cook, 88, Etienne, 87, Beast Mode, 86, Mostert 85 acceleration cook 89 etn 86 beast mode 87 Mostert 84 when it comes to carry cook etn and Mostert all 82 beast mode 83 change the direction cook op 89 hey yo etn and beast mode both 86 Mostert 84 when it comes to trucking cook 
with a mid 60, ETN 70, Beast Mode with an OP 87, Mostert 72. When it comes to break tackle, Cook 83, ETN 84, Beast Mode and Mostert both 87. Now, is James Cook worth 600k? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Just 88 speed is fire, okay? 88 speed is fire. 89 change direction is heat. 89 excel. This is yo. Listen, if it wasn't for the truck in this car, it would be definitely OP, man. I like the situation. 89 juke move is heat. Okay. I'm not dropping 600k though. So shout out to shout out to James Cook for getting this fire card. It's sad that they didn't give him. Um, they didn't give the ball no baked in abilities. You know what I'm saying? But. But they did give him tier 1 abilities. And in tier 1 abilities, you can get persistent. And if you throw in some of the X-Factors and you get them lit, like Freight Train. He comes with Freight Train, Jukebox, uh, run, back, uh, run Back Apprentice, Ankle Breaker. So it, there is, you know, there, there's some viable options for him. But I don't think he's worth 600k, truthfully. Now, someone like Beast Mode. Now, remember, we, we want to stay two points under, right? Beast Mode, 86 speed, 87 excel. 83 carry, 86 shape direction, 87 trucking, 87 brake tackle, and he comes with a pre-lit X Factor. Now these are gonna cost you, okay, some AP value, two piece. You get Bruiser, Running Back Apprentice, and he comes with baked in persistent for one AP. I think it's a solid option, bro. I think, I think truthfully for me, I would much rather pay the 200k for Beast Mode versus 600k for the ball James Cook. Now James Cook is team of the week. You put him in there with all the lineups, you get that, that speed boost. So, you know, shout out to James Cook. Shout out Team of the Week promo. But, man, it make you do a lot of work for a couple speeds. Is it worth it? I don't know, man. I like Beast Mode, truthfully. My personal opinion. At the end of the day, I think E.T. is fire. I think he's missing the trucking. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you're going to spend 200 k Just get Beast Mode, bro. These men, there's, there's no if, ands, and buts. Would you buy Mostert? For that, you throw 70 on top, you get yourself, uh, what's the ball? You get yourself Beast Mode for, like, another 70 on top. Not too crazy, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not knocking Monster. He's still official. He's still official. He got a nice little spin move. He turned up. But for 120 bands, 100 bands, you know what I mean? Just, just go get Beast Mode. Or use Christian McCaffrey. I, I'm still using Christian McCaffrey. He's still fired to me. He still get the job done, you feel me? All right, here we go. Quarterback. They ended up dropping the ball, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray turning up with Maserati Marv. Hey, yo, another 600K. You already know. <laughs> now, I am going to throw in another 87 overall. Cheaper, but dope option. And this is going to be the ball, CJ Stroud. Now, he's going for about 217K. Is the lowest. Do I think he's worth 217K? Absolutely, man. This dude's fire, okay? And we're also going to throw in there the 87 version of Jaden Daniels that you can get for free through Rookie Premier's. You guys should have been doing it. Listen, I'm going to give you guys some advice. If you if, if you play Madden, maybe you fall off mid-season, mid-year, whatever it is, come back and do the sets. Trust me, it's worth it every single year. Just come back and do them, man. And trust me. Thank me later, all right? From left to right, we got the ball Kyler Murray in blue, okay? Now, he comes with an over-the-top six release, a.k.a. Sling of Four, all right? Then we got CJ Stroud in red. He comes with an over-the-top four release, a.k.a. traditional two release, okay? And then we got Jaden Daniels in green. He comes with a, uh, what is it, three-quarters one? That's what it is, three-quarters one release, a.k.a. traditional four, all right? For those of you guys that don't know, traditional four was arguably the best release in Madden 24. Still has a dope release in Madden 25. Um, CJ Stroud has another beautiful release, traditional two. And honestly, Sling of Four, Kyler Murray has always had the Sling of Four release, nothing too crazy. But I'd say it's like top five. I'd say it's top ten, but I wouldn't say top five, okay? Now, I'm a firm believer that you can make any release work. Just really, you just have to get used to it, truthfully, honestly. Some are better than others, though. And this is this is the facts. Do you always want to go traditional four, Sling of One? Slinger 3, Traditional 2. Those are going to be your top 4 joints. And even uh, Pat Mahomes, Slinger 2 release. So I would say those top 5 right there, official. When it comes to speed, Murray, 87. CJ Stroud, 80. Jaden Daniels, 86. When it comes to throw power, Murray, 87. Stroud, 88. Daniels, 86. Short accuracy, Murray, 
84. Stroud and Daniels both 85. Medium accuracy, Murray 82. Stroud 84, Daniels 86. Deep accuracy, Murray 81. Stroud 85, Daniels 82. Throw under pressure, Murray 85. Stroud 88, Daniels 85. Let's keep it a thousand here. Let's keep it all the way a thousand here. Is Kyler Murray worth 600K? Now listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. Speed fire, 87 speed is heat. Okay, it does come with tier one abilities, so you know you can get gift wrap for one AP, things like that. So I think that speed wise, fire, throw power, throw power, fire. Okay, tier one abilities, fire. What I don't like is that they yo, they dub my man with the 81 deep boss. Alright? 82 mid, like come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. Still in the right thresholds, so I flux with the card. I don't think it's worth 600k. Tier one abilities is fire though, so I think Stroud, to me personally, beautiful option. 80 speed is pretty, is, is beautiful. It's a dope speed. 88 throw power, 85 short, 84 mid, 85 D, 88 throw on the pressure is what I really love. This is heat right here, okay? Jaden Daniels, I ain't even got to talk about it. 399, beautiful car, he killing the game you already know. You feel me? Are you feeling me, brodies? Jaden Daniels got to be the winner here. If not, I'm going CJ Stroud because of the release. Release is very important, okay? Going Stroud with number two because of the release. And then Kyler Murray. What was it? Slinger. What was he at? Slinger. Slinger four release. Shout out to you for getting the card. I think they could have gave you better stats. It's solid, all right? Nothing too crazy. I would say James Cook is the better card so far. All right, right end. Now, before we get into this Aiden Hutchinson card, we are going to go over this coin making method so you can get your chicken up. You dig what I'm saying, man? Shmoney gang, we in a building and you know that. Talk to him. Is we getting money or what? Is we getting money or what? Alright, let's go, man. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, man, check it out. This great chart right here is going to be the market based off of my .gg, okay? This green chart right here is going to be your snitted dipes aka your cheapest cards okay everything is color coordinated gray is market green is your snipes or your cheapest cards pink is going to be promo specific purple is going to be what you sell at yellow is always going to be profit you dig what i'm saying okay this is going to be your promo specific chart as you can see over here to the left you're going to see overalls this 87 overall for this promo okay because this is going to be the team of the week promo I, I got different tabs for different promos. You can see them down at the bottom. I could take the overlay off so you guys can see what's really shaking, all right? So, let's get into it. My fault, y'all. I gotta clear my throat. Where's my, all right, here we go. Okay, so, as you can see, this 87 overall, four team of the week. The cheapest one is gonna be 249K. Market value is 250. The most expensive 87 for this promo is gonna be 670K. This right, this column right here over to the right, you're gonna see a bunch of percentages. Two, this column is gonna tell me that this price, 670K, is 268% over the market value. Okay, now. Let's, now that you see that, this is how it's going to help us distinguish where the money is at and where we need to look at, okay? I'm telling you, we got this mapped out. We got this locked down. Now, let's go over the cards instantly. When you look at this, you want to look at the yellows. We can see that there is money right here. This 84 overall set, there's some shmoney, okay? Shmoney gang. You dig what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you how to I'm gonna build this set out. Okay, you're going to want to sell this card for 172 bands. As you can see, the most expensive 84s over here, 172. The cheapest, 169. Average market price for these 84s is 90K. So as you can see, this is 190K, 190% over the market value, right? That means that there's money there, all right? So for this set that's going to require, it's going to be an 84 hero team of the week set, all right? You're going to need two Team of the Week 81s, okay? And you're going to need three, any three 81s, okay? For the three 81s, any three 81s, you're going to want to get those for 12K, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 12.9, 
12 9 and under you're gonna make some bread okay 12 9 times 3 comes out to 38 7 all right now the two team of the week 81s you're gonna want to get them at 31 7 okay you need two of them that's gonna come out to 63 400 total set value is gonna be 100k when I say total set value I mean this is how much it's gonna cost you to build this set out okay 100k is what it's gonna cost you if you got 100k right now you can build this set make some bread you take this card and these two cards well it's gonna be any any of the 84s from team of the week there's only like five of them bro these um, one of them being Puna for the DT for the Chargers would be the number one number two would be Godwin for the wide receiver uh, wide receiver for the Bucks you know what I mean these are 84 overalls all of them are going for 170 right now you go go get this bread it don't even matter which one all right they all going for a buck 70 okay you set them for a buck 72 all right after tax it comes out to 154 all right that's gonna leave you with a difference of 52k that's all profit because your your initial investment was 100k you sold it for 172 after taxes because at the 154 you take out your initial investment of 100k that leaves you with 52 bands all profit as you dig it what i'm saying that's 50 bands of pop 50 bands of pop easy money bro believe me where else do you see look at the 83 sets you're gonna see a negative there's no money there okay the 81 sets all right you can make some money. You gotta sell these 81s, as you can see. You wanna sell them for 35.2. Okay, total set value is gonna be 13K. All you need is 379s. You want those 79s for 43.50 and under. If you got some sitting in your binder, this is free chicken. 379s. Any 379s, total set value 13K. You're gonna sell the card for 35. After taxes, 31. It's gonna leave you with a difference of 18k. You're gonna make 18k every time you create this set, man. Those those 81s, the most profitable 81s, is gonna be the ball Tariq Stevenson, cornerback for the Bears, and Justin Stenard, middle linebacker for the Broncos. Y'all know I've been talking about Justin Stenard for like two weeks already, Brody. The Brody's lit. Yes, sir. He's going for about 35 bands. Yo, you selling those two cards a piece, you're gonna make a nice little 40, 40k easy schmoney, all right? Now, these 79s, for some reason, they overpriced. Crazy. Crazy. <clears throat> you can sell these 79s for 18k, bro. All right? I'm gonna tell you the two cards, all right? This total set value is gonna be, look, 7,000. That's all you need. Seven bands to build this set. You need five 76s. You can get 76s for 1500 You dig what I'm saying, man? You sell those, those five. I mean, you use those fives to build this set. You sell the card for 18 6 You're going to make 9 k in profit, bro. Every single time, those two cards are going to be Braylon Allen. That's going to be the halfback for the Jets. And then you got Henry... Tuatu, I can never say homeboy's name. Henry Tuatu, the middle linebacker for the Texans. Tuatu, Tua you know who I'm. Y'all know who I'm talking. I can, I can never say homie name, right? And just with, and with those sets right there, you're gonna be able to make 100k, 200k, easy, no sh money, yo, yo, not even a problem, bro. It's right. Now let's get back to the cards, man. You already know. Now going over the last card, bro. We're gonna go over the last one. The last one is going to be the right end. Board, oh, my man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They ended up dropping an Aiden Hutchinson card. Y'all know it'd be the home, the homie be OP. Now, if I'm correct, right, last year in the game, they had him at 6 7. This year, they got him in the game at 6 6. I think they trying to do the homie dirty just so you know, just keeping it a thousand. All right, here we go 593k for the ball. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I don't like, I don't really like, I, I wanted, I wanted to, to compare the speed to somebody. And I've been using an outside linebacker, I mean, I've been using an outside linebacker as my defensive end. And I'm going to show you guys exactly who I've been using. And I'm going to compare him to Aiden Hutchinson so you guys can't see what's shaking. Because yo, homie right here, yo, he get it in for me, bro. These paws, all right? I'm going to see. 
And that's going to be the ball. Where is he at? Charles Staley for 100K. I've been, lead, I've been using him as my right end. And yo, he be all the way lit. Okay, now, Aiden, from left to right, we got Aiden Hutchinson in blue. He is 6'6. Six, six. Charles Haley in red. He is 6'5. This is who I've been using, buddy. Because of the speed, because of the strength, you're going to see what's shaking, all right? When it comes to speed, they both 85 speed. Acceleration. Hutchinson 88, Haley 86. When it comes to strength, Hutchinson 83, Haley 84. Block shed. Hutchinson 80. Haley 82, power move, Hutchinson 79, Haley 82, finesse move, Hutchinson OP 86, Haley with a mid 79, now is Aiden Hutchinson worth 600k, I ain't gonna lie to you, 85 speed, 80 excel, dope stats, he does not have good coverage stats, but what he does have is a 56 back catch, and that is fire, you know what I'm saying, with an 83 awareness, 83 play rec, the Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson card is fire. I would probably put him more, truthfully. I would. I might as well. Nah, nah. Leave him at right end. He's fire. Okay. I'm using Charles Staley, Charles Haley as my right end because yo, look at these stats. They very similar. Homie be lit, and he turned the frog off of me, and he turned. Yo, he hold it down. We we catch dubs because of him. You dig? Anyways, if the video helped you out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell the frog on. You dig? Oh, <laughs>